I'm Rebecca. I'm Nicholas. Burr, it's so cold out here. Rebecca, did you not check the weather before you left your house? I mean, I looked out my window and it was sunny, so I thought it would be warm. You know, we can actually predict the weather. We can use tools to figure out what the weather's gonna be like. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, come on, I'll show you. You put some more clothes on. Okay. One of the tools that we can use to measure weather is called a thermometer. I've used one of those to take my temperature when I don't feel good. I've got a thermometer here in my pocket. A thermometer we can use to measure the air temperature of wherever we are. Why don't you give it a try? Okay. What did you find? According to this thermometer, it is 37 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It feels like it, huh? Yeah. What do you think could change the temperature? Well, I feel like sometimes when I'm outside and in the shade, it gets colder. So maybe the sunlight? Yeah, it's great. So why don't we go check a shady spot? Cool, that sounds great. It looks cool. shady over there. Let's do it. Now that we're in the shade, it definitely feels colder. It does. I'm gonna take the temperature and see if it is. Wow, we were right. It says it's 35 degrees Fahrenheit here. It definitely is colder. So we know that in the sun, it's warmer, and in the shade, it's colder. And we can figure that out using a thermometer. You're on your way to becoming a meteorologist. What did you call me? <laughs> a meteorologist. It's a scientist that studies weather. Oh, so these weather scientists can predict what the weather's gonna be like in the next few days? Yeah, exactly. One of the things that we can measure to predict the weather is the wind. So wait, how can we use the wind to predict the weather? I'm glad you asked. You can use things like wind direction to help predict how the weather's gonna change. But how can you tell which way the wind is blowing? Well, think about it. What kind of things show that the wind is blowing? I guess my hair does! But not everyone has hair to do that with, and I still don't know which way it was going. I have another idea. There actually is a way that scientists, meteorologists, can measure the wind direction. One thing that meteorologists use to determine which direction the wind is blowing is called a windsock. So a windsock is just something that's light, wind can go all the way through it. All you need is something that can catch the wind. So as the wind blows, it pulls this up. If you have a compass, you can point it in the opposite direction to see which direction the wind is coming from. Wow, that's so neat and so simple. I feel like I could definitely build one of these at home. So here's the compass. Uh -huh. What direction does the red needle point? North. North. So at least we always know which direction is north as long as we know which direction the red needle is pointing on here. Wow! It's blowing from oh. that way is south, southwest. How does wind direction tell us how the weather is going to change? By knowing which way the wind is blowing, we can help determine which direction some new weather might be coming from. For example, here in the mountains, if the wind starts to pick up, we know that a storm is probably on its way. And in the winter, a storm usually means a lot of snow. Yeah. And in the summer, a storm usually means a lot of rain. Nicholas, what's your favorite season? My favorite season is autumn. I love the colors of fall. My favorite season is summer because it's sunny and warm and you can be outside for a long time every day. What's your favorite season? I feel like next time I go outside, I'll be much more prepared for the weather. And we're all ready to become meteorologists. Bye!